Hi there. I'm Dr. Noelle Nelson, and it's my pleasure to share a few thoughts with you today, some uplifting, inspiring, and practical tips to help you find greater happiness and success in your life. Today's topic, surviving stress. Stress has always been a hmm, all-too-important part of our lives, even more so these days as we attempt to find our way to a new normal, however that is defined. If we don't know how to deal with stress in appropriate and healthy ways, it can kill us, physically as well as emotionally and spiritually. When you find yourself in a stressful situation, ask yourself the following questions and use the suggested techniques to help you survive the stress in your life successfully. Number one, where's my attention? What are you paying attention to? You have to recognize what's going on before you can change it. Ask yourself, am I focusing on how anxious or depressed or upset or angry I am about the situation, or am I focusing on dealing with it? And secondly, well, now that you know what it is, own the feeling and release it. You see, you have to give your feeling a name. It's not just stress. It's, for example, fear that I'll lose my job or anger at my spouse. Be willing to release that emotion. Now, this can be difficult. It's often comforting to cling to hurt or upset feelings, as in, I'll sit here in my misery for a day or a week or a month or two and lick my wounds. I mean, after all, they're wounds, aren't they? Well, short term, like maybe a day or so, that's fine. But beyond the very short term, clinging to an unhappy feeling is problematic. It doesn't solve anything, and in the long run, it doesn't make you feel any better. So thirdly, use the 20-minute release technique. Set a timer for 20 minutes and either talk your unhappy feelings out loud into a mirror until you're totally and utterly done, or write them out until you've literally written every bit of it out, or beat them out of a pillow safely, please, on your nice soft bed until you're spent, or Cry them out until there are no tears left. If you're really committed and intense about releasing, you'll find 20 minutes is plenty. Well, you may even be done before your timer dings. And once you've released the feelings, you're ready to handle the problem. So, fourthly, ask yourself, how can I solve this? Figure out what you need to do, step by step, and do it. For example... If your stress comes from having too much work to do, learn how to delegate work or create more efficient work habits or learn to set limits on what you'll accept to do. Brainstorm with others. Ask for help. Google how other people in similar situations have resolved their problems. After all, there is, so to speak, nothing new under the sun and stress happens to everyone in every country at every time. So there are many answers to be found fairly easily. And lastly, be proactive. Know what causes stress for you and deal with it before it becomes a problem. In that way, you will greatly decrease the amount of stress you'll ever have to deal with. The less you allow stress to run your life, the freer you are to enjoy your life. And that's the whole idea, isn't it? Thank you for listening to Up. And check out my new book, I survived COVID-19, what now? Finding happiness and success in a post-COVID world. If you'd like more uplifting, inspiring, practical tips and techniques, as well as my website, noelnelson.com. Or take a look at my Meet the Amazings Facebook page. Until next time, be well and take care.